Hi everyone. Welcome back to me being crazy in my house. So I was, have been recording this video for a couple days now, but I'm going to do a new intro because it was kind of dragging on for a while. Long story short, all you have to know is that I couldn't post that video that I just posted for like three days because my iPhone storage was full, which means that I couldn't record any of the things that I made for the market. I couldn't do the whole market vlog. It was just a mess. I ended up buying a crap ton of yarn and I'm gonna show that to you guys later. I literally just right now ordered yarn, but it's the timeline's not gonna make sense because I'm doing this after I did everything that you're gonna see. But I'll let you know when we're like caught up to me right now. I bought a Scissor Juliet. I got a new tattoo. It's a little bloody right now. It's a Snoopy. I made about 277 bucks the first night of the market. I think it was only three hours. And then I made almost 400 the second night. And that was like a whole day thing. It went really well. I'm currently making Pikachus, but I just wanted to hop in here and let you guys know that the timeline's gonna be a little bit off for a while. You're gonna see me go to Michael's and freak out real quick. I'm currently in my car because the felt that I have is way too thick to cut with the machine. That means I have to either go to Walmart and find felt there or I have to go to Michael's and buy the Cricut felt thingy. But I don't even know if my stupid machine takes it. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm currently on my way to the craft stores because I thought if I'm gonna be out, I might as well just go and have a $60 voucher for Michael's. So I'm gonna go spend it. Currently in Michael's, um, some lady stole my cart, so I have to hold everything. I'm just looking for, the yarn selection here sucks, but I'm just looking for one more. We're gonna have a little bit of conversation while I uh, cook my food because I went to Michael's. They didn't have anything I needed, so I have to order it online. Just cutting up these potatoes that I got from Wingo. They're so good. I made roasted veggies for Thanksgiving. They were gas. I haven't crocheted anything else. I finished. Oh, yeah, no. Last night. When I was making that Pikachu, I started getting super, super drowsy. My freaking sleeping pill kicked in stupid hard. So I like passed out. I slept good though. I feel better. I'm just really stressed out because I feel like I wasted time going to the stores and I didn't even get anything that I actually freaking needed. So... I'm just gonna eat food right now and then get back to the cricket stuff. All right, I just finished eating. Excuse the mess back here. I spent the whole day cleaning yesterday, but I didn't get to the junk back here. So you're just gonna have to deal with it for the whole day. I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything that I got. So I went to Hobby Lobby, remember how I was in there? Yeah. Pretty much, I went in there looking for those Cricut, uh, what are those things called? Like felt sheet thingies? I don't know. But I ordered them already. I got like two of them. They're coming in. But I went and their bags were still uh, half off. So I bought these because I used all of them on Saturday. And then I bought these because I only had like one more of this size. I don't tend to make huge items like that. Those bags are kind of just when people buy a crap ton. So I don't buy them that often. And then I bought, I had purchased this one like pack of this exact like style and everything from Hobby Lobby, but they were fall themed and they have leaves all over them. I was using them at the market. I don't think people really care that much. It's just my preference. So I ended up getting these Christmas ones too. 
And then I finally bought the tote that they have at Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting this one forever. It's literally just a tote that has all the yarn sizes on it. You're not going to be able to see it that well, but it has all the weights on it. And I've been wanting it for so long. It was only $5, so I got that. I'm going to first show you everything that I bought today for Michaels, and then I'm going to show you everything that I bought over the last couple of days. They had this on clearance for $5. I was trying to do the buy one, get one free thing. It didn't work out. So I bought this one for five bucks. And then I thought this one was really cool to do like a cookies and cream style, like dinosaur thingy. This one was also on clearance for five bucks. I bought this because I'm gonna make um, I'm buying this like Grinch pattern thingy from Etsy. So I needed that. I bought more white. It's kind of not wrapped in the thingy. So I got to show it to you like that. And I bought this gray because I am determined to make that husky. That I never ended up finishing from a couple. Well, actually like a week or two ago now. I bought three balls of this yarn in order to make Pikachus and a Jolteon. I have this one here. There's another one that's already like over there. I think you can kind of see it like there. And then this one, I'm currently already using it. I'm like halfway through the Pikachu. I bought this one. This one's Sunrise. Hmm. Really bright too. I appreciate some of these Sweet Snuggles colors because they're very vibrant white this one for those pokemons as well uh, this one for a custom order i bought more pink because the one that i have feels like garbage i bought this seed pearl color also for the pokemons i think that's it i'm gonna come back with crappier lighting and also when i finish two of the pikachus just popping in to say that i finished the Pikachus. I kind of sewed on the heads a little bit, uh, I guess weird or different, but yeah, I did these. And then since I had the glue gun out already to do, to put these on to the plushies, I just went ahead and glued the eyes onto the Miffies that I had done so far. So pretty much, I just have to finish making these miffies and then I'm moving on to something else. <laughs> See you guys when that's done as well. So pretty much, <laughs> okay, just finished the last little Pikachu of the night. I honestly don't think that I'm going to be able to bring a lot of stuff on Thursday. <sighs> that's my own fault. but. I also got all the Miffies with their eyes on. Those are done. I really want to do one more thing tonight and then uh, call it a day. There's my kitty. This is her. This is Chili. Oh, she was starving herself for a while because she didn't like the food that I was giving her. But now she's chunky again because I bought her new stuff. I think I'm going to do that cookies and cream dinosaur thing. That I bought that yarn for. Just finished my little triceratops. It's kind of hard to see the eyes. There he is. Oh, well, I'm pretty much done for tonight. I'm going to sleep. It smells like something's on fire, so I'm gonna go check. But good night. See you tomorrow. I finished up all the miffies. I just have to do the hot glue thingy. But since I'm getting the hot glue gun out, I might as well just make another Pikachu. So I'm making another one. I have the pile of them back there but i noticed when i was making the other pikachus and i've kind of noticing this pretty frequently with my uh, 10 millimeter hook that's what i've been using for the sweet snuggles ever since i bought it ever since i've been using it and all of that but i'm literally using a nine millimeter right now i've never even touched this one before i'm using the nine millimeter 
it is going through the yarn and the loops and everything and on the stitches so smoothly and I had that thought in my head too like maybe I should switch to a smaller one that's why this is like tugging so hard I think I'm gonna have to start using the nine millimeter for this one which is crazy I've been downsizing my hooks for all of the yarns that I use lately and I don't know it's been easier it's been going smoother nicer things have been coming out better so I guess it's working out anyways I'm gonna finish the Pikachu and then probably make at least two more things after that and then go to sleep because it's currently like 12 so yeah I'll see you guys later hi quickly because it's kind of the end of the day and I didn't want to come on here unless I had something to say and like stuff to show you but I I did I did good today I'm not done I'm still gonna make like two well I'm gonna make a pokeball or two depending on how much of this white I use up and yeah it's kind of a mess I still have to like put the little x's on the miffies and that's gonna take a while I don't want to do it right now right now but I had to go to my parents' house. I'm like, it's a disaster. I have so much to do today. Everything is such a mess. I had to go to my parents' house to get the transfer paper that I ordered online. And my 12 millimeters also came in. While I was there, I started making uh, stuff with acrylic because I was like, when I'm from here, I'm gonna make like keychains or something. So I made these little heart cookies. This one was the first one I made. This yarn isn't the best. So I'm just keeping this one. I made five of them. I think these are absolutely adorable. I don't know how much I want to price them at. I think like 10 bucks. I, I don't know if that's a good price or not, but they are keychains. Most of my keychains are $10. We'll see. I made this Hello Kitty, but I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it sells, it sells. This was kind of the only off color like for a shirt that I had for her and it's just gonna have to do I'm I'm not proud of it I don't really want to look at it but then I made a pom-pom my Pikachu Avi you guys already saw that yesterday I think and then I spent a good while making this Flareon because that person that I follow on Instagram I knew that this mod drop was coming and then I bought this specific color to do this Pokemon so I think this is the only Flareon that I have that I can 100% do. All of my other Flareon colors are coming in. I really want to make another one of these, but I just don't have time today. I think that's it. This whole background, I completely cleaned it yesterday. And now it's just, there's yarn everywhere. It is so bad. But I don't know what time it is. I have to go pick up my... Um, my julian then we have to go grocery shopping and there's just so much to do i think that'll be it and then tomorrow i am going to record the video for showing you guys everything that i made for my market and then a whole day vlog so pretty much this is the end of the video wish i would have done more content or I wish I would have made more plushies, but to be honest, it just, it was impossible. I had three days to prep and that just wasn't enough. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, do all the things. And I will see you guys in my next one. I don't know if I'm going to post the vlog first or the everything I made, but you'll see it when it gets there. See ya.